meantime, who says professional football can only be played by men? Epinay is proving that women can also excel in the sport. Cecile Docto tells us more. There are three words to describe Filipino-Canadian Mary Ann Hansen. Beauty, brains, and brawn. Hanson is the quarterback of the BC Angels. She has proven herself a force to reckon with in this football league where women wore lingerie as football uniforms. I wanted to be a part of it just because it just was such a great challenge and opportunity. Despite the attire, Hanson and her team are dead serious with their game. People come out and they kind of think that they're going to watch just a bunch of girls running around wearing nothing. But we're really hard hitting. It's really quick football. Most of these women are uh, are very, you know, self-driven. Uh, they're very, you know, very motivated uh, themselves. Campbell admits it is very challenging to coach a women's football team, but he's all praises for Hanson. Marianne is an elite quarterback. Uh, she is one of a kind. Uh, she makes very sound decisions while she's on the field. She reads the field very well. Um, she has great vision. Um, she's a competitor. The one thing about the sport that I love, and, and especially being Filipino, it's all about being family. And so for, for us, it's, you know, you have to rely on each other in order to be successful. It was a successful inaugural season for the BC Angels. They are the 2012 LFL Canada champions, and Hanson was declared offensive MVP. This year, LFL Canada is changing their image. The name Lingerie Football League is now Legends Football League, and the uniforms are next. But whatever the outfit is, there's no changing Hanson's passion for a sport that's dominated by men. Cecile Docto, ABS-CBN News, Vancouver.